were to meet to make the marriage public and official. God came down in the Bible on a, in a cloud and met with Moses. To Jewish rabbis, this was the hoopah. This was the covering that God gave Israel. How many of you know he had a pillar of cloud by day and a fire by night? That pillar of cloud was not just to lead them because they stayed in one place for 30-some years. That cloud was the hoopah. It was the, the canopy. It was the covering. The Lord said, in, uh, the, and he said, the Lord came from Sinai and rose up up from Mount Seir unto them, and he shined forth from Mount Paran. He came with ten thousands of saints. From his right hand went forth a fiery law for them. Now we're coming into the second part of the marriage. They've accepted it, but now they're coming into the hoopah, as you'll see in a moment. And this is where the marriage gets very exciting. The covering of the cloud that God came down on was the hoopah, according to rabbis. And now there's three things that happen, actually several things. Number one, the Jewish in the Jewish wedding, the bride is escorted to the bridegroom. Number two, the procession will be accompanied always by tor torches and oil lamps. So there's fire. There's lamps of fire. Remember when God made a covenant with Abraham and he cut the pieces up on the altar and it says that God passed between the pieces and there was a, a, a burning lamp, a burning torch. That was a marital contract in the ancient times. That's how you did it. God was making a covenant with Abraham, but it was like a marital contract for Abraham and his seed. That's your parallel that you can find here. And it says that when Moses went up on the mountain, it says Mount Sinai was altogether on a smoke because the Lord descended upon it in a fire and the smoke thereof ascended as the smoke of a furnace and the whole mountain qu 